This video will share some basic information about Film and Television Literature Index and how, as student researchers, you can make the best use of it in your schoolwork. Film and Television Literature Index is a subscription database that provides thousands of articles on film and television studies. Their main purpose is to provide articles useful for students studying in these disciplines. The articles come from professional and scholarly magazines and journals, and, as you might guess, cover a wide range of topics related to film and television studies. The resources you find here go way beyond what is available from a Google search, and also tend to be of a higher quality and reliability. Because this is a subscription database, you need to go to the library website to access it. You can use the library link in Talon or in MyHub to quickly get to the library website. Then, any place you see the link A to Z databases, follow it to find a complete list of all the library's subscription databases. Scroll down to the F's or search the page for Film and select the Film and Television Literature Index. If you're not on campus, you'll be prompted to enter your K number and password to access the database. I'm going to show you two different ways to explore the articles in Film and TV Index, by keyword or by browsing magazine or journal contents. Because we are searching a library database, the search works very differently than a Google search, so I will show you some tips, but also, spend some time just playing around with the search to get more comfortable with using it. We'll start with some examples of keyword searching. Most often, you will have a topic in mind that you want to search, such as a film, the name of an actor or director, or a theme or genre. Film and TV Index supports all these types of keywords. Mostly, you want to think about keeping the keyword terms as simple as possible. For example, if I want to read some commentary or analysis of the film Run Lola Run, I can just enter that title as a keyword search. You'll notice I type the whole title into the first search box and leave the other text boxes empty. Sometimes you're not looking for just anything about a film, you're looking for something specific about the film. For example, again for Run Lola Run, maybe I want to read about the unique structure of the storyline how it repeats the same story multiple times. So I'll try adding the keyword phrase narrative structure to my search. Notice for each aspect of the topic, I put the word or phrase in its own search box. Another tip when running keyword searches is to play around with the terms and play around with different ways to look at your topic. In our last search, Run Lola Run and Narrative Structure, might reflect exactly what I want to write about. However, there are many different ways to search for articles to support my argument. For example, I might try searching narrative structure and film, leaving the title of the film out of the search. Or how about narrative structure and repetition? In this way, I might get some discussion on the use of repetition in narrative structure in general, which I can use to discuss Run Lola Run specifically. I'm reaching beyond the obvious and generating fresh ideas. Another way to find articles in the Film and TV Index is to browse. This can be a good technique if you're not sure exactly what you want to research or write about. You can scan through the contents of film magazines and journals to generate ideas. To browse, click on the Publications link up at the very top of the Film and TV Index. On the next page, type in the name of the magazine or journal you want to browse. Some good titles to try are American Cinematographer, Black Camera the New Series, Cinema Journal, Horror Studies, or Sight and Sound. Once you select a title, you will see a list of available years along the right side of the page. Expand any of these, then select an issue to browse. You'll be taken to a list of articles from that issue. Scan through titles for anything that sparks your interest. Sometimes it can be confusing to figure out how to get to the article you want. 
If the article is available immediately, you will see the words full text, as in the first article on the screen. If it's not available immediately, it will say find full text, as in the second article shown. For the full text articles, just click on the title. You'll get to this page that has links to the article in HTML format or as a PDF file. In the case of an article that says find full text, click on those words to bring up a library search for the article. In most cases it will say we were unable to find direct full text links. Look further down the page and there's a button, request this item. This brings up yet another page where you can fill out your contact information and K number so the library can request a copy of the article for you from another library. This is called Interlibrary Loan and it is a free service for current Kirkwood students and employees. It can take between one to five days for the article to arrive in your email. One more tip before we sum it up. Each article in the film and TV database has a citation in MLA or APA format that you can copy and paste for your Works Cited page. Click on the article title to get to the full record. Then look for this yellow page icon. It brings up a pop-up window with citations for the article in several different styles. Look for the one you need, usually MLA for film studies, highlight it, then copy and paste it into your list of citations. To sum it up, start from the library website and use A to Z databases to get to the Film and Television Literature Index. Then, play around with different combinations of keywords to hit on those articles that pique your interest, support your research, and help you join the scholarly conversations around film studies. If you have any questions, just ask a librarian. See our website for all the ways you can contact us for help.